there YouTube this is Logan's Homestead here and today I'm gonna show y'all a tour of our rabbitry um, that back wall there you see is the chicken house and uh, we built us a shelter up uh, under the, behind the chicken house 8 foot by 16 foot big enough for our small rabbitry and we got these new cages each cage hole is 2 foot by 2 foot and there are 9 hole cages three layers down and three layers across have to excuse the water hose in the background we're watering the animals now um, there's the nine hole cage and it's full and then we have a nine hole cage over here that has four rabbits in it and I'll get back to them in a minute we're gonna start on this end but um, you have to excuse the rooster in the background but um, here's some of the meat chickens we have here they um, They've been going in this here rabbit hutch at night. I got it up off the ground, it's like 30 inches to 36 inches. And I'll catch them and put them in there. But I, my chicken tractor ain't got built yet. So what I'm doing now, I'm just letting them out during the day. And they'll go out and eat and drink. I got some feed there on the ground there, on the feeder there. And then a rabbit feeder there that's got the chick starter in it. Right now they're drinking water. I just filled it up for them. All right, let's start over here with the rabbits. Well, let me get all the chickens I got back here out of the way. I have some banners in here in this little cage. It's a small cage, but I've been letting them out. But today I'm not going to let them out because I'm going to be busy this afternoon. I don't want to have to run out here at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock whenever it gets dark and catch them because they won't go back in here. But that's okay. I've been letting them out, but today they're going to be stuck in. <laughs> all right. Here's the rabbits. This here um, is a pedigreed broken black mini rex. It's a very gorgeous broken black, but this is our buck. Very gorgeous. Okay, they have available to you like for the mini rex and the standard rex, but he's a mini rex. We did buy the cages. Um, for the cost of the cage, you could build a cage just like this for about the same cost. So we didn't want to, uh, we, we wanted, I wanted to build it, but, uh, you know, with all the, with the cost of the wire and all, it equals about the same just to buy it. This is a broken, or not a broken, excuse me, a solid black mini rex doe, pedigreed as well. Um, she is bred, she's due April the 12th. We bought these bread, but I'm, I have to ask the woman we bought her from, but I'm pretty sure they're all bred to that broken black buck pedigree. So these will be pedigree babies that we will sell as pedigrees. She's another gorgeous mini Rex. Trying not to take too long, but you know, it really, and trying to latch the cages back. This is a... I have not named these yet. I gotta name them. She's a little grumpy. Um, I'm not sure why. But she acts like she wants to bite you, but I don't think she will. She's just a little grumpy. But uh, she's bred as well. She's a broken black pedigree mini rex doe. And she's shedding. But uh, she's bred and she's due April the 12th. Again, we bought her bread. We bought all these top three bread. Uh, or mini rexes, uh, same day, same person, everything, you know. All right, down here we have, we just give them hay too, so. This is Fifi, a, uh, New Zealand doe. And, uh, I'm not gonna focus on her long because she's in the middle cage and it's a little low. But, um, that's her and she ate her baby. She had 12, unexpected. Uh, she had two two of the 12 was stillborn and the other 10 they was fine for a couple days, but then she ate them so I don't know what to do with her um, You know like eat her maybe or uh, Possibly Rebreed her again and see I'm not sure so if y'all got any advice on that let me know and then over here We have an English lock dough Come here, baby. Come here. See her long ears. She's a little skinny. The person I got her from 
whenever I got them from the people. She was a little bit skinny at the time, but I put, I'm putting some weight on her. I got some calf manna. You can't see it, but I got calf manna in her feeder as well with the rabbit pellet. That's what we feed our rabbits. It's just plain old rabbit pellets from the feed store. Over here, we have two, uh, that white uh, English lot is a dough. We have two, uh, I need to tame them a little bit, but there are two, uh, a black one and a silver brownish looking one, but they're both does. They're, they're sisters. They're going on three months old now. They'll be ready to breed in about three months. And their mama is Fifi the New Zealand doe. First time we had bought her and she had the babies. And um, she had eight of them, perfectly fine. Had eight and raised eight, but then she ate the last, her last litter. So we'll see where that goes. But their does, I'm planning on keeping those. They're half line head. I'll show you the line head butt that she, she, was, she was bred to in a minute. All right. Down here in the bottom, we have an English lot buck. I don't want to have to open the cage because it's on the very low floor. He's pedigree. He's a blue English lot. Did I say mini rex? I, I mean English lot if I did. That's the line head. You can't really see much. That's the brown and black line head. That's the father to these buck. And uh, here's a little Netherland dwarf, chestnut color Netherland dwarf. And uh, she's about seven months old now. She's pedigreed. Very pretty girl. Then on the next next cage, we have, we just got these yesterday. We just got this cage and these yesterday, these Jersey Woolies. These are pedigreed, or this one is, the next one is too that I'm going to show you in a minute. Pedigreed Jersey Woolies. The paper says she's a broken black, but she's a, uh, she's definitely not a heavy broken. But uh, I'm going to get a grooming brush and start grooming these out. Uh, but she, this is the doe, she's five months old, so within the next month or two, we'll be breeding her to the buck. The buck is a little bit older. Uh couple months older I mean he's ready to go um, this is the okay this is where I left off uh, the battery went dead and I had to start over but uh, this is the pedigree Jersey Woolly um, buck I can't remember what they said his color was he's not a very gorgeous buck he's kind of ugly but uh, he does need grooming whenever we just got him yesterday, so I ain't had a chance to groom him. But uh, he's got some mats. I don't you probably can't see him, but he's got mats needs combing out around his neck. But uh, other than that, he's a good, real good buck. Um Alright. Last cage, but certainly not least, the sun's in my way. I'll open it up in just a minute. This is a black mini rex doe that's not pedigreed and one of her babies. She had seven babies and raised seven babies. We sold six of them for Easter to pay it, keep up on the feed a little bit. And uh, the daddy to this little white one right here, believe it or not, is the, uh, let me come over here in the shade and see if you can see her. Don't you thrash now. The baby to this is that brown line head that I showed you all ago. And brown line head, black mini rex doe, and we get a white baby. So they must have some white in their bloodline somewhere. Let me go ahead and put her back in the cage. And she's older. She's a she's older. She's I don't know how old she is. I have to look at the calendar. She was born February 16th. So do the math. Now she's normally a sweet doe, but something's got her riled up, and she's not. Um, you can see her eyes right there, but the sun's in the way. But she's a mini rex, black mini rex, and she's bred. Um, she's bred to a mini rex buck. I think the color on that mini rex buck is a, is a buck is a tortoise. Um, I borrowed it from somebody we know. Um, she's just gonna get a the woman I borrowed it from. Is gonna get. Pick of the litter or pair of the litter or something. 
and I'm going to get to keep the rest of them or sell them or whatever I decide to do with them. But all right, you two. This is our little rabbit tree. we got six empty cages down here. But uh, they got the little pull-out poop trays. But this is about it. We might add some more rabbits in the future. We're trying to go toward, go toward pedigrees because they bring more money. And we could kind of keep up on our feet a little bit better. But all right, you two. God bless y'all. And y'all come back now. Here.